This style is inspired by a beautiful style that I actually used to love back in the 90s. If you were into the 90s vibe or if you come from that generation, then you already know like what it is. This wig today is a 360 lace wig. It is from Superb Wigs. It will be linked in the description box with discounts. I do have some new discounts for you guys. And I also will put all the products in today's video down there. So if you are new here, I want you guys to subscribe to the channel. If you are here, make sure to like the video. That way you won't miss any of my upcoming videos. I upload weekly. So if you're not getting the videos and you haven't clicked that subscribe button. Also thumbs up the video if you like today's style. Or if you just find my videos helpful, this wig is perfect for an updo. It looks really good. So yeah, we're doing a full updo today. So let's get into it. I'm gonna walk you all through my steps on how I created this updo today. It's the 90s inspired updo. I used this wig from Suburb Wigs, which will be linked in the description box. But this wig has the invisible strap in the back. And yes, I have done videos on this type of wig before, but today I want to actually glue the back of the wig down along with the front. Now, this is a 360 cap, so you get lace all the way around the cap. And then in the center, of course, you have weft hair this is also a number two color and I have also bleached the knots when I decided to install this wig my goal it was to make it look as realistic as possible so everything you're seeing in today's video is almost like raw footage of me actually putting this wig into that high ponytail I didn't really I cut out scenes but I didn't cut out like the struggle so that's why I'm doing a voiceover today because I wanted to show you guys exactly the effort it takes to put this wig into a high ponytail which I don't think was too hard but I first started by of course pushing back their hairline like I've always done today we are going to use the kiss colors bonding spray you want to make sure to use a spray or an adhesive that has really good hold when you are pulling your hair up and of course you also want to do the ball cap method when gluing your wig down for this type of style now if you don't use a glue that's intense I'm telling you you will most likely end up with your wig sliding we're getting into the cooler season so the adhesive sprays could hold a lot longer if you don't want to use glue but if you're sweating all the time or if you're going to wear this style like a week or so make sure you use a real glue but the kiss colors glue works pretty good for me now when i was doing this i did notice that the lace was trying to ripple on me so as i'm holding my face <laughs> trying not to let this lace ripple i'm spraying that adhesive underneath and also over top and I'm not removing my hand until it's actually laying flat. All right, so the next step I did was to remove the lace. Now I removed the lace while it was glued instead of before. And this right here will cause flaking. So if you are annoyed with flakes, we're gonna fix that as the video go. I'm gonna show you how to remove the white residue from the adhesive spray. All right, so for this style, you wanna separate the front of the hair and i am creating two pieces that will hang and just put those away for now i already noticed that the hole was really good so far when it comes to this adhesive spray um and as i was going through i wanted to make sure that i can be able to put this up in a ponytail see how it looks see how the back look and i did spray that adhesive in the back of the wig also so i sprayed it around the back of my neck and then pressed that lace down and when i tell you this cap is so comfortable at the nape area it holds and it's comfortable okay i didn't tweeze or anything i did create a little baby hairs back there and i also kind of used my hot comb to pull the hair upward before i glued it down and it was perfect now i did go back and spray a little bit of that adhesive around the hairline to get rid of the white residue and to also make sure the edge of the lace was perfected where it's melting into the skin and not just sitting there and as you can see the lace blends beautifully on this wig Now the density for this wig I believe is 150% when doing a high ponytail. You want to make sure the density is not too much to put into a high ponytail. Um, so I loved it. At this point I was feeling myself a little bit. I was like yes honey it's working. So we're going to take a little bit of the lace putty and create some edges. And this gives extra hold. So if you don't like extra edges then 
you know, to each their own. But I feel like it gives a little bit more hold to the hairline so that it won't lift. So I'm just creating some very soft baby hairs okay we don't do anything intense over here just a little bit of something something <laughs> now the back was stressful just a little bit i thought i could hot comb my hair but then i was like no let me just go ahead and just tie it down just let it be let it go so if you got anything to do to the back of wig do it before you apply your wig okay um, i'm using this olive oil um foam mousse and this is going to smooth the hair and take away some of the frizz so we can pull it completely up now since the wefts are in the center of the cap it is a bit easier to pull it up without the bulge the back of the wig bulges but we're going to work with that i worked this wig today okay i wanted to wear this style because it's beautiful and i think you can do a lot with the invisible strap wig so I was determined okay so I went on to put the hair in a ponytail made sure it's tight made sure my hairline is tied down before I put this hair up because you don't want to pull on the hairline okay now you see that little flaw right there I know I know I know we're not gonna worry about that we're not gonna worry about it okay but it's only on one side of the wig it's not on both now for this style you want to add curls to the ends of the hair because you don't want frizz I mean if you like the messy bun it'll work too now I wore this style yesterday you guys and what I tell you I got so many compliments oh my god I wish I could have recorded everybody's reaction I had so many people tell me how beautiful my hair was and I'm just like I have to share this with you all um, I was in the store getting my pizza and I got complimented by a Caucasian guy and he was straight he was straight y'all <laughs> i know that sounds kind of crazy to say but it was a huge compliment for me because he specifically commented on how he liked my hair like what because i've never gotten a compliment like that before you know usually girls comment and they give me their you know you did good or i like your hair but i've never gotten that so this style is everything okay so if you're looking for that style this is that style and i highly recommend for you guys to try it out all right so as far as the style you want to take the pieces that you curled and just pin them you can leave little strands hanging around the bun if you would like i'm using hairpins bobby pins to me is hard to deal with so i'm using hairpins just to pin it and going into the wefts to make sure that the hair stay now when it comes to the back i played with it a lot because i didn't want it to bulge too much but i wanted it to flow really well with the bun it's okay if the back is just a little messy you don't need to be a perfectionist when it comes to this if it bothers you, you can just smooth the hair and pin it and then have some strands hanging back there um, but for the most part i'm just going with the flow of the hair and letting the hair do what it wants and just pinning it in the spots that i feel like i want it to be now again make sure your hairline is tied down and let that hairline sit in while you are creating your high bun or ponytail okay now again this wig will be linked below in the description box and i have some discount codes i think this wig is worth buying it is so natural looking okay look at that hairline the lace melt i do have a little bit of flaking there however it's not that bad i'm cleaning it up in a second now for the front pieces i like to pull them toward the face with the hot comb and i also like to make sure that they lay flat as possible i did go down the parting with a little bit of concealer remember i did bleach the knot so of course it already looks like scalp but i'm just opening up that parting a bit and then taking my curler and curling these pieces away from the face oh this turned out so pretty like when i tell you it's the most simplest style to wear very easy to do of course i was nervous anybody when you're doing your hair for the first time you're going to be a little bit nervous but don't be if you need to clean up any flake and just take a little bit of water on a wig cap and wipe the hairline i use the wig cap so no lint pieces will be stuck to my hairline basically but yeah let's take a look at the back we are done and it looks so freaking good y'all so so good and the only problem i had was around the ear on the other side of the wig but for the most part this was the style okay 
I will be sure to link this wig below. Be sure to follow me on my other social medias at Miss Precious Marie on Instagram at TikTok Marie Space 23 for makeup. And also check out my previous videos if you would like more tips. Like the video, subscribe you guys by clicking the subscribe button below. Just don't view me. Subscribe to me. I would love to see you back and I don't want you to miss any of my upcoming videos. And I thank you all for watching.